Good afternoon to all. A very warm welcome to the chief guest, Professor Yamini Bhushan Tripathiji. Please have your seat. May I request you to have your seat, please. And then the president, Geshe Ngala Santilla. The guest of honor, Sri Ravinder Jaswalji. And Professor Kamblesh Kumar Tivediji. Dr. Tile Basan Tokawa. Professor Dr. Lofsan Tinsla. I welcome you all and the eminent speakers, the participants, the faculty members, and students of the Institute. I welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the third international conference on Soa Rikpa, Tibetan Medicine on behalf of the organizing committee. Now may I request the chief guest, Professor Yamini G. Bhushan uh, Tripathi Ji to light the butter lamp, please. And I would like to request all the dignitaries to, to also light the butter lamp. Thank you. May I now request the students of Central Institute of Higher Tibetan Studies to recite Mangala Charan in Sanskrit and Tibetan. Dharmatharam munina sinaguna 
गगन निलयो बोधिचित्त सुचित request the Tibetan uh, students to sing uh, recite the Mangalicharan in Tibetan, please.
Thank you. Now I request Mrs. Sring Samjula, Secretary of Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, to offer traditional, traditional scarf to the dignitaries on the dais. Before proceeding further, may I have your kind attention to the short running clip on Soa Ripa? Please. Mzambulingdiri,出路前部,新度堂,杨杂部堂,地处,刚刚,天目就说,清一级部部,汤接级中部,臭马车部堂,康地西,臭马浪马说,康拉电北,与开康接南,不得中西查清,天里,汉文就
呃，特别更多片源，所以被收录的。老林明啊，他大个，因为几度丢吧？丢进人物，原来也不，三万明啊，给丢，再抄啊，那就在。宋军也是宋少爷，比如特别更多，他也是在。丢了几批公主都，清
这里面的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的人都是这样的
And this system was also flourished in Tibet for many centuries with the aforesaid uh, system. A renowned Tibetan physician, Yudo Yundyun Gombo, composed a famous medical treatise called Kyushi, which became the principal medical text for all the Soa Rikpa practitioners. With the growing popularity of Soa Rikpa worldwide due to its holistic approach and its multifaceted wisdom, the responsibility to share and propagate the true essence of Soa Rikpa has fallen on current generation. Conducting such conference is one of the most effective approaches to share the profound knowledge of Soa Rikpa to its practitioners and interested individuals as well as to benefit all suffering beings. The very aim and objective of this conference is to preserve, promote, and for further development of the Soa Rikpa system for the better health care of the human beings and to enhance the interaction between the Soa Rikpa practitioners. In 7th and 8th century, 33rd and 37th sovereign ruler of Tibet invited many renowned scholars and organized many discussions and symbolisms. The very first such international conference was held in the 8th century during the reign of King Chisong Dyutsen at Samya Monastery in Tibet. Nine renowned scholars were invited from different neighboring countries and have discussions and debate for a long time for each medical system with which might, might be the earliest international conference in the world. Second international conference on Swaripa was held in the year 2012 at Dramsala in Himachal Pradesh of India. This third international conference is jointly organized by the Central Institute of Tibetan Studies, Varanasi, Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, Dramsala, and Chakuri Tibetan Medical Institute, Darjeeling of West Bengal from 25th February to 1st March 2018 for five days. During this five-day international conference, there are six plenary sessions, 22, 28 parallel sessions, 12 paper presentations, and one day practical workshop with six sessions were arranged during the whole conference, excluding inauguration and validity session. The main theme of the sessions are present status, status of Swaripa in Asian countries, clinical management of somatic and psychological disorders in Swaripa, pharmaceutic and research in Swaripa, medical legal status, advanced Swaripa practice, materia medica of Swaripa and its challenges. On this five days conference, 100, 201 participants assembled here from 10 different uh, countries all around the world, including India. 29 renowned experts and 12 paper presenters were invited from India and abroad. We have also invited 18 uh, students from different colleges and universities to participate in the conference to earn their, uh, earn their knowledge and experience. Last but not the least, long live His Holiness the Dalai Lama, may all the medical systems prevail on this earth for the benefit of all sentient beings. Once again, on behalf of the university, all the organizing institutions and the organizing committee of the conference, uh, I welcome you all and hope this third international conference a grand success. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Dojit Abdullah. May I now request uh, Professor Lobsan Tenzin, Chairman of the Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, to deliver the keynote address. Today, I speak on my mother language. <laughs> And please, and uh, do who not understand Tibetan, then we can, can see on these in the papers on English on there. We don't have uh, much time. That's why I try to uh, speak on my, my language. During the uh, 
Jaji Puchi Somari Dwelling So Gentin Yachi Dunambi So Guess on that uh Professor Chire Ramin Ramin Ramita Jaswal and Professor Kam Kamnish Kumar Devi Professor Yamana Bhushan Tripati Tini Tejindu uh Varan to Tula Lonya Kankiya and Neviri Gancho and each yeah and Jamni Gendu today Kanton Yando there Tanda Kontu Shavanaji John Tavuni Pipi Tabaji Yarka Good Chu Sit Nanonia Peyori Jesa Jin Tatan Seng was Mamma Bi and in Kebada and in Lishi Tondu Nevi Zunik in Keba Namba and Tej in the Yan de Chujanami one not to Tula Lonya can look to and he gave me the teaching to your child, Shindani Pipi, to La Lomia Gang Lu to number. That ring that they would take Tonya, Kashi and Haranki to two detainer, but those two young Pesmochiani. Then into Tandango, the ring Jajiran getting me so what to be doing, so the Mugu Mamato with the Carter Sena. That then Jovan Tadagia uh to think Yajetanya Chala Yon to Doba the Lodu Yuring Yuring Boyoni, that of the Lan and Puson Toba Dent and King, and uh Zamni Drova uh Yon Ya Tiggit and the Pukasova to be chechu the Sarto Yon Yatan, and it ne tig the Memalia Kotope Yag in the Chitutov me Tindigi, and it teach in the Tan Kondi Shavanaji. Uh over the Lodju getting the Sam Nodamina, Tan Dirangi Ya Tong to De and it takes some bad of the Chad Yori, Tan Tang Tangbo de the Pitcher Halam uh Zambling and it's all manual be in the two jerry and nine years old of Jerry, the Chilli to Rab Jeva and it uh da Zambo Tison de Zenk Kudula, uh some yellow sober, the Kadul Ya that Tanda Nigerian Jim Juki Chajan that didn't have in a ya, and it's true and tavuni a jack up. Janata Jagar and the Tajin the Tarins and the Taxi to be Tanya Saki Jarka, the two Dombe Yajaka, Jagu Jagi, Member Kabati Mambuji to Ruruna, and the Tanya Betting Sankas, Trenkasangia, and the seminar that Droning Song to the Tindiginis in Membergene, Loni, Loni, Low Mambolia, Droning Z, Song to So, and the Song to So Droning Zibi, Ningdon to Zoma Yigelata, and it's near Jacob Sosuke, Juyata, and Havadia Puke, Johnny. And it didn't do two kids and butchers on the thing here. That thing's an ammonia not chowbert thing, Yori. Things are in a pen do the two skin. Jan and Kangaya, Jig, Taju Yoba, Lobju Jeju Yoba. And it is in the Yacho, Jendani Pitti, Pujin, Sorikin Kebatu, Yarang, Loma Sojon, the Yada, and the Ranglis, Nelusopria, what in the year. Need to join your tate, and do Loju Kitani, Jaji Ranji, and be so what you be drawing thing, Tambores, and in the sheet to Yajiri. I mean, ten days, Tony Ta, Tinima, you did that, Jaji Dolan, sorry, Dolan, ten years, but then you don't need Loria, Dan Salada, Son to Tor Nabari, and Tina Lia Jarka, Gusegi, the Peyorit, and it didn't that Dolan ten somebody, Tandaminzo, Kashi Gota, Varnasia to ya, or to Tinidi, that Tindigia needs to take a warning. That Lodura de Marchivina, and in Harvard, you have to run your shoe, can only approach you to see Lodula, tampon your chamber to join your day, and it tell it in your chamber with the Jagar, Jagal, so Choto Payada, and it tell the Yambo Yapome, that Mambo Choto, Lato, Yongoya needs to chayori. Tell a lane you do, and it takes that Jagar, Memanta, Jagar, Jongia, Lana, maybe Jabjo Gola, and it's a good Buji Gunjanagi, that Jagar Nalo Yaji. Lobra Mambo to Tong Ziori and Tijin Ya Tabadia Ming Nature Sam Tambi in the Chinook to Judici Lodia Dansala, Menzikan Tolop Santo Zayata, and it is in the Penale Nancho, Lobra Nanota, and he did not only a sovereign with the Santo Zaya, and it is in the Yachaguri, Tendelomia Cansanto Zaya, and it is good to go to Kosu Nolaya. 
Tabaji, 
Tinsan,三百年到六十年前有嘛哩,三百年的六,今日就有这里六十年的平度有的呢,今日一个家就是平均别的,今日呢,六十年的平均别的,今日呢,六十年的平均别的,今日呢,六十年的平均别的,今日
Kanji Shibanaji, Chick Ting Sanya and Zambulang, D. Tangla, how about the Tanja Kondu Shibanaji, Puga Sova River, Zambulang Yachi, Gongo Chir, Chir and Doyundu, Chick Major Gukolia, Ani Chigi Karcho Gorta, Le Lavondo Samia, Tap Devogene, Manga Joba de Mambo, Sam Sam Yungi, and it can take it in ya into some Tanya. Teaching you do, that means you're the so very big and then I catch him with the child doing it to teach him some not on your time and you're going to come on to your other what and did you and it's subject to what they are that means you can be going in my wooden tea they are it and did she have an engine something remember in your religion in the mound mound road they are it and it's something you are not on ranjong kodio geneta in your religion to don't do your it and I can get chance at chance at the global warming down Ani cik tinggi ya ni tu mampu cik itu ani, mantu rancung ke menzai tu kom di kom ni tu ya ni tu tinggi cah tinggi yori. Jadi tinggi cik ni tu jauh ani. Anti kan ya habar tu tingsan biar cik mula ganjil dan donga donga mionya ke mana mampu cik ke. An mianju mampu cik zaman tangan dulu yori. Jadi ni tu tinggi ke kangye de, tak tak sih kandis cik tak cuci gudu. Ani mianju sumjob kandis cik gudu, mianju mangu tangan ya tak sih cik gudu, kandis cik gudu. And Tindy Tanya, some of Tanya, uh, Donan Chaya, uh, Tonsen, to what the Tindy Jin, and the Tonsen, Dumba, they are so very with Chambag and Yamnes and Chambag and Yamnes said they are indeed Nanolia, and to subject Kitchen Buni, you, Chi, and this someone you take, someone you don't need to take a court in. That someone you don't need to say they are there, so Cheva. That that can't. Zamblin di nalo dia, samno yang kiki, mbe yang tu tu bade, samno nalo kari orang sana, so so yang buat yang ada, yang buat yang jual ni apa yang ada, jadi ya san suci yudi orang, besok je cie dek orang, dia yang tu dia kiki ya, dewan tar tu bade, samno dewan dalam jualan, jualan jualan dua jam ni apa bade, san je je kompas ni ada, sunjuk kompas ni dia ada, ready orang, dia yang tu tadi, ani tu suri buat je, gua mukul buat je ni ya, ni tu kita tu je, tu je, tak sih deh, di nani ya sunjuk orang, dia. Cita saya judi ramjam mampu jadi tinggi di dunia kita sih. Allah bantu tujuh juta yang tinggal kumpul kita orang ke lama suntuk ni sih soalnya ni judi tarjat di dalam dalam juta ni tinggal sedih kita ni. Cita saya tinggi kor dia. Tiap benda juta ni sama juta ni tinggal dia. Ani kita ni dapat juta yang tinggal kumpul orang ni kita judi ni sih ni. Tapi mereka percaya betul sangat mereka mahu cipta dalam ni sih ni kesal dalam judi dia ni. Tiada itu memang betul tu, bayi na. Yuto ni ada hajang kecium boleh dia ni. Tiada na yuto ni ada kecium boleh ni na yang. Ani yuto ni ni yang yang ni cakap cakap ni susu tuan guru dia ni. Kita tinggi ke kolej ya. Minta sama nota ya dah tinggi kolej setor je ya. Tiada kecium boleh cik cik lejar itu. Ani tiada itu tiada nama nota. Minta orang tu dimbeli untuk kau beri. Ani ni apa dia main job. Soal ni apa dia main ke jual main ke nalu timu main ni. Yang ni yu dia ni dah, la ni yu dia ni. Mina tap cah dengan yang kita lagi sam main main rub saya dia juga beri main rub saya dia ada pergi ya mereka je jadi tenju gopu je ni je mundi segitu apa tenju je jawab je mari main rub saya dia jawab tu sangat jawab dia jawab dua jenis canggih jual tu solat tu dua hari benda ni tu kanjur ke nanol lah jual pot eh nyusun nasi hari tenju nanol ni nan kita ambil tenju ke jual nanol ni ya ah ta Leh, syarjun tu leh ramjah mampu je dua jam sungguh yari. Di mana ni jiwi ke? Tapi sih mampu je sungguh yari. Jadi mampu je ke nalo ni. Tuh sih pas sama tamu ini. Jadi ke lawa ni na. Jadi ke jodoh tu semua tu sanjeng kompas tu yari. Re dale. Di ke syarjun tu. Tan sih sok leh ramjah dua jam mampu jiwi je sungguh yari. Jadi di nalo ni. Ani ngan tu ni tu dong sih ya. Tapi sih main drop saya dia di yang di yari. Jadi sih tinggi ke main drop dia. Tan ngan tu tanda ye. Tak banyak macam ni dia jual risen dalam tempat macam ni. Jadi tak cik, nak ngamun nanti jebu cik. Tanda jual yang nama nama macam ni. Ini tinggi kalau ni jual sebuah yang ada jual sebuah yang ada. Tanda macam macam ni jual dia orang. Tapi yang itu sunjuk cik gosar ni macam ni. Sunjuk cik ni kan dia pentol ni. Dia kan dia yang itu. Dia kalau yang itu memang ini macam ni tak mesti jual macam ni. Oh dia jual yang itu. Ani lumba dia tinggi. Soal ibu sama macam ni yang ni saya dia. Tapi dia kalau Jaya ini, dia kau lihat nyamjir jaya ini, entah dia kau lihat dolin jaya ini. Ani dolin jaya jeba dia, cimlu ke kau tu ke kau re. Tapi cimlu sedia dia, zaman ini dia nanol dia. 
Lobjunche Jebato Lo <laughs> Then 
Kecem var yine uçsam gidiyor. Ben dediğini ya tanji çöpü nadi. Zannayın ki memur ne? Ne tonu yapıyor dolu ya. Tunca gülpçü saçı genç ojide sege yore. Zannayın ki çöpü ne kam çok yore. Tanrı çok kandı sanki çeni yan. Zannayın ki memur gülpçü saçı gitti. Nasa alıp hento yöne ki men kandı çok zor yiyen gendo. Tepe masi ben zara çöpü ne zaman gidiyor. Kandı çekeni men çöpü de sunca yore. Ta 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 ngar doktor ni kol doktor ni laca rağı yu sene. Bobo jin di java tege yan gendo mahu bala. Pen toya jire samare. O toz ki yöne de di deni ya. Agumba jay gogu da sanki gidiyor. Ani teyze de tan tenem de riba yöne jire. Ani tonji de zoge buzi. Gensong gogu da. Buzi la genki gogu da. Ani troten la gensong gogu da. Ani di ya men ki ceci karan yiba yana gendo. Ceci yöne jire. Ceci jinji gogu da. Ta kanda. O toz ki yöne de tenji ki deni ya. Quality, safety. Rasyon, rasional yüz seydi ya, tadi inci gece cevap yana. Tindiri gece ne yangın tadi, kandı samla tadi yandı. O tindiri tadi yandı, ona naro çeyse, kumbay cegoya cireyca. Ani, gündü, menge tünci da lanet de dezo, ani, benneci, tad, ben gomani ya çema zogu orada, rebu zogu orada, sevi zogu orada, tindiri menbe cini ya. Go devo yonye, reba, menge pinyo tutun dici go devo yonye. Ani main itu pejuh je dewo yang ni, lepas sama gam dengan zor, lepas tangkui dengan zor, lepas ni tingsan zaman itu yang kita melihat cila thaga dapat jor. Tapi kita ni ya tap dewo je ni, ko dewo ni cuci yudeh ni, ye cuci pun cuci yudeh ni. Ani cuci dewo yang ni kita tuan cuci tu kan di situ orang go ya cuci go itu. Oh, tapi kita ni ya sama tangkui ada je. Ani ya cuci kumpel ni ya miju go itu, ceci go itu, tangkui cuci mana je, lepas. Ani tuan cuci tu cuci pun cuci tu tu ni ya, mana cuci tangkui dengan zon go itu. Apa tu? Ini tuan cik dia jom ni, dia ini geng kiri ini saya dia cik ni pada kau tu. Ani dia jenre dia konsi sebab kau tu, lepas mana le konsi dia 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 punya na. Ani kau ni kalau labla lepas kau kalau labla lepas jero dia punya na. Ani kalau kau buat cakap sahaja, lepas dia ini tu konsi dia tu. Konsi saya tu kau tu. Kani zua punya na, kani cie punya na. Cik pun dapat jalan punya cik tu ni ya. Ani mana ada tuan tuan je tu ni ya. Ya tuan tuan tu, tu tuan tuan yang ini nanda, tuan tuan yang ini nanda. Men membagi cajin ini nanda, tentu mune be, tim tim tu ni yang dia tunjuk aje. Ani, tapi tentu tu mungkin ni, ni am jeep cajin ni, yang dia cajin ni sen, tak orang ke tu ni, yang pergi kang tenting zora di mana aje. Sudu ke tadi tu dah lama ni, gini cipu tu ni, satu ni tunjuk aje. Be masih kerja mula dia aja, be nanti insan yang mula ganja ni tu juga, cik men dah zoya dah buat satu ni, be ni am jeep cajin ni, satu cajin ni sen, tenji tenji cik. Ani di 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 tenji ni apa cik jor tu, an tu jor tenji ni orang ke mune tanya ke. Jadi suruh jun kita tu buat tak boleh so, cawa ni ni kerjasama ni dengan tindir ni dia je. Pernah jaga nanau ni ni suruh tindir ni, jangan nanau ni tu pergi dia buat suruh tu. Tuh siapa ni nang ni tu meram ni meram tu, jubi suruh jun kita tawa tu cuma sedih. An tuh siapa lah semua ni nang, tak ada pergi pergi dia suruh buat ni pentol yang ni ke, dia ke pentol yang jalan jadi dia mari. Dia ni tu cedang, tak dapat lalai, suruh jun tak dapat lalai ni ya, mana apa dah, an ni suruh jun juga tu ni. Ting tak ting sana tu sana pagi ya yang jekar tangi tu sama kar tangi tu tiga dia ni aku baca kau ya jadi aja. Ani dia jadi ya kola tak kola cik jor cah lugu jor lewa Amerika dah Asia tu cik saya dia jom tak kola kanga Chongse cik zon dah kita dia orang ting sana dia yang tu kita kaya yang nanda mian yang nanda kola cik jor kicau ya lihat sekarang ni ramai dengan yang tu kahli cik tu. Tadi dia nak sama sama kau jadi aja. Ani pan panjau dah sana je. Nedan, tak tinggi ke tinggi yang itu yang jadi tanya dek, penjor ke nedan yang siapa je kerja boleh dek jor eh, tinggi itu jasa, ane je, eh, tanda mungkin lahir jemba dah, ane mungkin lulus jemba lahir, tentu dek tuan yang boleh yang yang itu kerja 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 tu, ane dia je tu jadi senyawa dan nyamnya, aku tentu ber, cik lahir ni yang ada, ane mungkin jor bayi yang ada, pesa ke nedan dapat yang ada, tinggi ke yang lahir dan nyamnya tu tentu beri. Ani cik cik kotor yang ni, kan dia cik kotor cik sa, tinggi ke, eh tinggi yang itu, siapa cik ke, eh nengah cembur dia jadi dia sa, cik tak mesti tinggal dia, pasoh kotor punya ke jualan dia, tapi siapa cik bebo dia dia orang itu, ini kos sos 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 dia lihat, tuan ada cik macam ni punya na, cik sa tinggal dia internet dah, ni mobil dia cik sedih dia tu, yang ni mana cik baru jual dia jadi dia ni, tinggi ni tu cik sa, tinggi itu ni ya, pentun, kat sambo dah, dia kau kau. Kau dewa kita ni aku tahu yang ni tinggi je, guru tu sangat sangat itu. Ani dia je tu ya, tholok kagel, tholok yang itu tinggi je tu, seji yang ni je. Karena ni, tholok cik tu, yuda kui tholok cik tu, yuda sena. Tholok dia ni ya, 
Thank you, Professor Lobsang Tinsla, for this elaborate and insightful keynote. I now request uh, Dr. Tile Balsan Tokawala, uh, Director of Chapuri Tibetan Medical Institute, to address the gathering. Respected Professor Ngo Samdenla, Vice Chancellor, Central Institute of Higher Tibetan Studies. Respected Chief Guest, Professor Yamini Bhushan Tripathi Ji. Dean Faculty, Ayurveda BHU. Respected Guest of Honor, Professor Kamlesh Kumar Divedi Ji, Head of Department, Kai Chikitsa Panchakarma, CCIM member. Uh, Professor Losan Tinze Ragtala, Dean Faculty of Sorry Babot Jyotis, uh, Dean and Head of Departments of Central Institute of High Tibetan Studies, Dr. Dojitan Jamdila, Head of Department, Department of Sorry uh, Respected Dr. R.K. Upadhyaji, Registrar, Central Institute of High Tibetan Studies, Distinguished Guests, Respected Speakers, Participants, Members of the Organizing Committee, Staff, and students of Central Institute of High Tibetan Studies. My greetings to you all. On behalf of Chakpuri, I'd like to uh, convey my heartiest greetings to you all, Tashitelik to you all. And in fact, I think it's really a uh, very important and historic occasion that we have been able to meet on this occasion of the third International Conference of Tibetan Medicine, Swarikpa. And in fact, uh, as the former speakers already said, there was the first international conference of Tibetan medicine held in Tibet under the reign of the Tibetan Dharma King, Tison uh, in the seventh century. And then, uh, now this is the, the third. And we think that it's very important that Tibetan medicine should be preserved uh, not only for the benefit of the Tibetans, but for the benefit of the humanity as a whole. Because this is one rich culture, uh, uh, cultural heritage, not only of the Tibetans, but of the entire world, which we, the Tibetan community, can uh, can give to the benefit of the whole humanity. And as I'm coming from Chakpare, I'd like to just give you a short uh, description of the place from where I come. So Chakpare uh, was first established in Tibet in the year 1696 as per the wishes of the fifth Dalai Lama by his regent, this is Sanki Gyatso. So it was the premier most 
uh, one of the premier most learning places of Tibetan medicine for the whole, where students from the whole trans Himalayan region came to study. Uh, and till 1959, uh, uh, it was a flourishing medical college, but, uh, but due to the political uh, turmoil in Tibet, it was completely destroyed. And presently, a communication tower stands atop that hill. And in the year 1992, the late Trogawa Rinpoche reestablished Chakpuri in Darjeeling under the blessings of His Holiness the Dalai Lama in commemoration of the old Chakpuri in Lhasa, Tibet, so that the future generations of people will know that such a medical college had existed before, and then also that the precious lineage of Chakpuri could be transmitted to the younger generations. And, and continuing in that legacy, we have got three departments in Chakpuri. One's the college, where we train students. Presently, there are 22 students studying, and 58 doctors have graduated till date. And uh, the course which we offer is a full six years course, five years of study, and one year internship. Then the second is the pharmacy department, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is a place where we make all the, med uh, the medicines which we use in our clinics and also some herbal products. Uh, and thirdly are the clinics which we have in the region. So, so this is like a, ve a very brief description of the work which we do at Chakpuri Darjeeling. And once again, on behalf of Chakpuri, I'd like to sincerely thank the a Central Institute of Higher Tibetan Studies, and the, uh, the, the organizing uh, members, Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, uh, for all the help which you have uh, wholeheartedly given so that such a conference could be held here. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I now request the guest of honor, Professor Kamblesh Kumar Divedi ji, head of Department Kaya Chikitsa and Panch Karma and CCIM member to address the gathering. Namami Dhanvantari Madhi Devam Sura Surair Vandita Pada Padamam Loko Jararug Bhayanashahetum Dataramisham Vividhau Shadhinam The Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir Prof. J. C. Navang Santhinji of Central Institute of Tibetan Studies, Professor Lop Sang Tenjinji, Dean Faculty of Swarikpa, the Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Yamini Bhushan Tripathi Ji, Dean Faculty of Ayurveda, Professor T.P. Tuvar Ragwa, Director, CIMT, Dr. Dorji Damdol, Head Swaripa, the Dr. R.K. Padhyaji Rajshar, Dr. D.C. Katoji, Advisor, Ayush Government of India, the Dean of Different Faculties, Heads, Teachers, and the participants and learned scholars from all over the world. Students, ladies and gentlemen, today this is a great opportunity for me and for all that we are going to have this third conference, an international conference on Swarikpa. This is not my first visit to this institute, but I was related for long 10 years from this institute this university. We have organized one workshop on personality development and career building for the students of 
Tibetan studies. We also taught to the MD scholars of this very faculty. We have arranged workshop or training program for the pharmacy technicians for one month over here. Apart from that, we have also visited the last two or three seminars over here. I feel that uh, this is, there is similarity between Ayurveda and Sovarikpa. It may be a physical approach, mental approach, a spiritual approach. We can say that sympathy is the best approach which we need. WHO also says that the health is incomplete without the approach of physical, mental, social and spiritual aspects. And in Sovarikpa, the spiritual aspect is very much highlighted. But I feel that number of practitioners are doing practice in country or abroad also. But there is a lack of documentation because everyone asks if you have cured this patient, whether you have any data. And without that data, without that research, we cannot get the things which we want. We cannot get the acceptability in the society, in medical fraternity. Apart from that, there is a need of marketing also. We have to tell to the society that we are treating by these and these means we are having good medicines, good treatment, good therapy for such and such diseases. That is very important. Without research, without documentation, we cannot go ahead. Because when we used to go in the meetings of Central Council of Indian Medicine, they used to ask someone, someone not knowing that what is Sovarikpa. So this is our duty to tell them the benefits of this, the system of medicine. Although there is a one member from your, Professor Padma is there as a member of CCIM. I also want to assure you from the part of the government, if you need any help to promote, to develop the system of medicine at the level of government, central government, or at the state level also, I will help you from all the experts. I hope the three days conference will make a conclusion, a decision which will promote the Swarupa as well as it will also enrich the science of Swarupa. It should not be confined to this room, it should go to the society. That is our request from you people. With these small words, I am thankful to the organizers, to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, to the faculty members who called me here. Again, thanks. Thank you, Professor Kamlesh Kumarji. Now, may I request the Chief Guest, Professor Yamini Pushan Tripathiji. Dean Faculty Ayurveda IMC BHU to address the gathering. <coughs> Honorable Professor Santhanji, the Vice Chancellor of this great university. Professor K.K. Duvedi, 
Professor Tenjin, the Dean of this is Faculty of Ayurveda, Professor Tangwin, the Director of the Institute from, from Darjeeling, from Darjeeling. My friend and registrar of this university, Professor R.K. Upadhyaji, Dr. R.K. Upadhyaji. My colleague, Dr. D.C. Katoch, the advisor, Government of India. And all the delegates, guests of the dais who are sitting. I may not know the name of all of you, so can you excuse me? But I can see the faces from all over the world. Many delegates have come. I welcome you to Banaras. And I extend my sincere thanks to the organizers for giving me a chance to share my views with all of you. Just now, Honorable Vice Chancellor told me that this is the golden jubilee year of this university. Is it right, sir? You know that uh, this kind of events never come again in your life. Golden Jubilee, Centenary, Diamond Jubilee. So we all are fortunate who are looking, who are participating to this event of Golden Jubilee. So we should be present physically and mentally all over the time to celebrate this occasion because it will never come again in your life. But what is the aim of organizing these kind of functions, the Golden Jubilee Year? We are observing it. I personally feel the main aim of these events is to give a pause and to relook what we have achieved in that 50 years and what I am going to achieve in the coming generation. This is very important. So these events are organized for self-introspection and for setting up the vision. Second important point which I would like to share with all of you that uh, we have achieved the independence in 1947. And now 70 years are over. So we have certain landmarks in our history. Earlier, we were working for political freedom. Later on, the government of India, our nation, worked for economic freedom. But now it is the time for intellectual freedom. Freedom of thoughts, that has to be inculcated, that has to be spread. I am proud that Swaripa is a branch of healing of the Buddhism, of the Buddhist culture. And His Holiness, 14th Dalai Lama Ji said that this is the tool through which we can serve the humanity at large. But what is the bottleneck? I am really again very proud to say that this is the third international conference which is being organized in Varanasi, the oldest living city in the world. You know, many cities uh, were having traditions, but they disappeared. But Kashi is the oldest, but still it is on the globe. We are proud of our Kashi culture, Varanasi culture. So the first uh, seminar was in 7th century. Second one was in, 19, uh, uh, in 2012. No, no. It is, is it in 2012? Second conference? 2012. This is the third one. You can see that there was a long gap between first and second. But there is a small gap in second and third. It means that there is a time, there is a demand that we should meet more frequently. And as you know, that every culture has a seat from where the, no the way of expanding the knowledge is decided. For example, we are having in Hindu culture the Nami Sarana. 
Namisan is the place near Lucknow where the, all these uh, monks used to sit together and decide what is right, what is wrong for the society. And that message was taken over all over the world. That's why. Similarly, I personally feel that the Buddhism, Lord Buddha started it from Benares, from Kashi. The Sarnath is the place. He gave the first preaching to the five disciples who went all over the world. And then this system of medicine got more recognition around the world. But before I come to the topic of the seminar, I would like to share one more point. What is the aim of any institution? This is a university where the Soa Rupa is a faculty of health healing. But what is the aim? I personally feel that we should visualize the challenges in the subject. And then we should innovate. We should design how we are going to meet these challenges of the subject how our work will be useful for the society. And then third point is very important, how we are going to do it, from where the finance will be generated. The sponsorship of the society, sponsorship from the alumni is very important. Public-private partnership is the demand of time. It has to be explored. No institution will progress unless an entity is supported by the society. And society wants give and take. For that, we should always visualize what is the demand of the society. With these words, I come to the Swaripa. Swaripa is a very prominent health healing system. Although it is not very much popular in the worldwide, as my earlier speaker said, we need more popularization. You have heard a keynote address by the Honorable Dean of the faculty. He has spoken from the gut feeling what Swaripa is, why this conference is being organized, has been organized. Everything is clear to all of you, I am sure. But more important is popularization. The language barrier should be t taken care of. Other people should know about Swaripa. And the best way of popularizing Swaripa is to extend the services more broadly to the more people. It can, it, it, if it is confined to a particular locality, particular cult, particular society, it may not get that. We have to think in this conference to what step has to be taken for popularizing this of Swaripa. And why Swaripa is, is more uh, uh, developed than other alternative systems of medicine like the Ayurveda or the Chinese system or the Yunani system? Because Swaripa grew, evolved by imbibing the essence of all these four systems. If you see the history of Swaripa, it started from Tibet. But in the Tibet, when the Vaidya of India went there, they invited scholars of Chinese medicine from other medicines in the 7th century. In that interesting seminar, they make a document by taking the essence of all the four systems. That's why I personally feel the Swarupa has evolved much more than our other alternative systems of medicine. But it is not getting known to others for that effort has to be made. Second important point about the subject, as you know that this is a time of globalization. For talking to other person, you should know the language of that person. What is the international language? It is not English. It is not any country's language. It is science. Science is the language which is understood by everybody in the world. Two plus two is four, that is science. What is science? Which is reproducible is science. So we have to work from that point of view how science can be introduced in evolution of Sovaripa. This is very important. I personally feel like this. Now, you know that uh, 
there are three pillars of health, Ahar, Nidra, and Brahmachar. And I think in the Swaripa has covered many things which are written in Ayurvedic text because I, I know a little about Ayurveda and not anything about the Swaripa up to now. After listening to the keynote address, I could learn something from you. So these are the basic principles of Swaripa and Ayurveda are very much similar. Either it is Tridosh theory or it is Three Malas or it is Panch Mahabhut or it is Ras Gun Vir Vipak Prabhav of a Dravya or a food. Everything is very much common. Language has changed. Terminology has changed. But the basic concepts are very much similar. So we have to work on that. The important point which I would like to make, there are two kinds of treatment. One is the physiological changes. Other is the medication by using the materia medica. I feel that the physiological changes, the lifestyle changes, chronobiological changes, are more important in popularizing any branch of science. Because when we are giving a drug, you are giving something to the patient. When we are giving an invasive surgery, you are doing invasive. We have to focus the non-invasive approach for health care. And what is important in this? There are two aspects, preventive and promotive. Now you know 1,50,000 wellness centers are being going to be established in the whole world, in the country. The government of India has announced. Wellness centers are the heart of the healthy society. But in the wellness center, a patient will not come. Patient will go to the hospital. In the wellness center, who will come? A healthy person will come. But Maharshi Shushruta, the father of surgery, has given a concept of Kriya Kal. There are six stages of a disease progress, the etiology. We have to look for the first three parts, what is called the Purva root. If we can diagnose a disease in the early stage, we can have a counseling for prevention or for delaying the on onset of the disease. That is required. For the non-communicable diseases, which is a real challenge in the whole world, everybody is looking towards India, especially for the alternative systems of medicine. We have to look from that point of view what we can do in it. So we have to use our Suaripa tools for early diagnosis. You know the pulse, urine test, eye test, all these are written in Suaripa. It should come in more and more in practice. Then only we can catch hold of a healthy person who is prone for a disease. And then we can recommend. And what approach should be adopted? You know, this year Nobel Prize has gone to the chronobiology, circadian rhythm. What are the physiological changes with the sunrise and sunset? It is very well described in Ayurveda. I am sure it, is must, it must be described in Swaripa also. But the Nobel Prize has gone to the Americans. Why? Because they have found what is the science behind this, which protein is expressed, which is affecting your physiological phenomenon. Second important point that uh, Medication, the materia medica is very rich in Ayurveda also, in all alternative system medicine. And they are from the nature. But it is written there what time a plant should be collected, from where the plant should be collected. We are, have forgotten this. We have lost the access to the forest. We are buying it from the market. We don't have any control over it. So very important part, I would submit to Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, to look for the natural collection from the natural habitat of these plants. Because the Swaripa is from the Tibet, and the Himalaya is the treasure of the all medicinal plant. And if some effort is made for collecting these plants from the Himalayan region, I am sure it will increase a lot of economic benefit to your system to an university, 
and also to the service to the society because we will get the authentic raw material for making our products. This is very important. I cannot go to Himalaya, but your society can easily pick up. If they are educated for that, we have to give his training how to collect the plants without destroying the vegetation. These are the important points which I think in, in this international seminar we should debate. One more important thing I would like to share with you. The food and nutrition is a very important part of healthcare. The dietary regime is important. And a lot of emphasis has been given in most of the arterial systems of medicine. When to eat and what to eat. I think uh, in this seminar we can uh, debate we can make a list of the food, medicated food, which is foreign, it is known as the food supplements. You are having a, a staple food, but if you can add something to your staple food, it becomes a food supplement. For what kind of diseases, what kind of supplement is required for medicinal plant? These has to be debated. And I'm sure the Swaripa has much more treasure than other systems of medicine because it is a hybridization of four systems of medicine. They are practicing this uh, common uh, from practices from the 77th century onward. We have to revitalize that part. With these words, I will not take much time because it is inaugural function. It is not a keynote address. I welcome uh, Ravind Jaswalji, very active, a very dynamic uh, MLA of uh, Varanasi. Every day we see his name in the newspaper. And he is a, such a leader of Banaras, who is ready to invest his own money without waiting the government fund to get the job done. That's why the society likes him very much. I welcome you, Dr. Rao. And I, I, I extend my uh, heartfelt thanks to my friend, Dr. Arku Padhyaji. He, yesterday evening, he called me to come over here and share my views. And really, uh, one thing, I, I, before I stop, I should say, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, if you call any, organize any seminar in future, call, uh, have a, at least three hours gap uh, for the Swaropai scholars to visit BHU. Because we are having a, uh, many, many things, uh, because these foreigners have come, they may not get a chance to see. And unfortunately, uh, from t after 20 years is a holiday of Holi. So we have to be, uh, I have seen your program, it is very tight. You may not uh, be able to come this time. But if you have time, from 9 to 5 we are open. We are having a very strong Darbaguna garden, museum, pharmacy, Char Sutra. Char Sutra is a technology for the piles and fistula. Panch karma, all these systems are in place and we are giving services from the last hundred years. You know, in BHU, Mahamana Madan Mohan Malviyaji established in 1916. My university is now 102 years old. And Ayurveda was started in 1919, about 99 years. So we have a long legacy of Ayurveda. And it is my privilege to extend my, our strength to all of you. Because you know the teacher is always open to heart to teach others. If you will come, we will be happy to interact with all of you. With these words, once again, I extend my thanks to the organizer. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, Professor Yamini Bhushan Tripathi ji, for your very thought-provoking thought address. And now, uh, before moving further, we would first like to present our welcome scarf to the guest of honor, Sri Ravindra Jaswal ji, MLA Waranasi. And then would like to request you, sir, to please address the gathering.
I am sorry, I speak mother language in Hindi. तृतीय अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्वारिपा सेमिनार में आज के कार्यक्रम की अध्यक्षता कर रहे हैं तिब्बती इंस्टीट्यूट के वाइस चांसलर साहब आज के कार्यक्रम के चेयरमैन साहब आज के कार्यक्रम के चीफ गेस्ट शिक्षाविद विद्वान यामिनी भूषण जी मंचासीन डॉक्टर कमलेश द्विवेदी जी सभागार में उपस्थित सभी शिक्षाविद हमारे भाजपा के पूर्व जिला अध्यक्ष अलगू जी जगदीश जी अजीत जी अभय जी सहित पत्रकार मित्रों सबसे पहले मैं आप सबका अपने असम्बली क्षेत्र में स्वागत करता हूं, अभिनंदन करता हूं। साथियों मेरी सभ्यता मेरी हेरिटेज है भारत सरकार ने आयुष आयुर्वेद योगा यूनानी सिद्धा होम्योपैथ पर काम कर रहे थे लेकिन छठा विंग उन्होंने सोवा रिंगमा को डेवलप किया मैं यहाँ से मिले हूँ मेरे को यह पता नहीं था बी एस एम एस पाठ्यक्रम में यह पढ़ाया जाता है मेरे को केवल यह पता था कि जो पांच विंग है वही है छठा विंग की जानकारी नहीं थी मेरा कहने का मतलब यह है ये सेमिनार के माध्यम से पहली बार इसका परिचय में मेरे से हुआ हम बंद कमरे में इसको ना रखें इसको बाहर निकालें सारनाथ टूरिस्ट का बहुत बड़ा केंद्र है मेरा मानना है कि अगर इसको मेडिकल टूरिज्म से जोड़ दिया जाए और मेडिकल टूरिज्म से जोड़ते हुए तिब्बती इंस्टीट्यूट या इसके आसपास इसके ट्रीटमेंट से इसके मरीज देखे जाएं, तो निश्चित तौर पर यह इस विषय को इंटरनेशनल स्तर पर सम्मान मिलेगा आज चाइना केवल कहा जाता है कि आयुर्वेद मेडिसिन में पूरे वर्ल्ड पर इस 80 परसेंट चाइना कब्जा है मेरा मानना है कि अगर हम लोग इसको पाठ्यक्रम से बाहर निकाल के ले जाएंगे तभी उस 80 परसेंट को कम करके भारत के 8 परसेंट को हम ऊपर ले जा पाएंगे जब इसको हम मेडिकल टूरिज्म से जोड़ करके पाठ्यक्रम के बाहर ले जाएंगे और पब्लिक का ट्रीटमेंट करेंगे जो विद्यार्थी यहां पढ़ रहे हैं बीएसएमएस के उनको आउटडोर में ओपीडी में मरीज चाहिए जब मरीज चाहिए तो बच्चों की अच्छी प्रैक्टिकल होती है और जब आसपास के लोगों को यह पता नहीं होगा कि यह हमारे पास सोवा रिगमा नाम की कोई मेडिसिन है ट्रीटमेंट है विधा है चिकित्सा है तब तक वो यहां पर नहीं आ पाएगा मेरा मानना है कि इसको हम लोग टूरिज्म से मेडिकल टूरिज्म को जोड़ते हुए अगर इसको प्रचार प्रसार करेंगे तब विद्यार्थी भी हमारे पास होंगे और इसका प्रचार प्रसार भी होगा तिब्बती इंस्टीट्यूट को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं और यह सच है तिब्बत हमारी सभ्यता है हमारे कल्चर है और इसको संवारने के लिए बचाने के लिए इसको हाइट देने के लिए ये तिब्बती इंस्टीट्यूट की स्थापना की गई थी हम इसको कैसे इंटरनेशनल स्तर पर ले जाएं यहाँ की सभ्यता को यहाँ की संस्कृति को यहाँ के मेडिसिन को यहाँ के मेडिकल चिकित्सा को इसको हम आगे जब ले जाएंगे तब हम विश्व में से जो भारत सरकार की प्रयास है कि इस संस्कृति को बचाया जाए तो उसको हम बचा करके उसको हाइट देने का प्रयास कर सकते हैं यह टॉपिक मेरा नहीं है यह टॉपिक जुटा हुआ है आयुर्वेद से है मैं उसका कोई विद्यार्थी नहीं हूं मैं तो कॉमर्स का लाके विद्यार्थी रहा हूं उसके लिए कमलेश जी और अपने त्रिपाठी जी हैं ये लोग उसके विद्वान हैं ये लोग जो काउंसिल से लोग आए वो उसके विद्वान हैं मेरे तो केवल प्रैक्टिकल चीज़ें हैं कि इसको बचाना चाहिए और बचाने के लिए क्या क्या करना चाहिए आपको मेरा विषय तो इतना ही है जब तक इसको हम बाहर नहीं निकालेंगे जब तक इसको हम बाहर नहीं निकालेंगे तब तक ना विद्यार्थी होंगे 
नहीं इसके ट्रीटमेंट वाले हमारे पास आम जन होंगे जब इसको लोग जानेंगे नहीं जब इसका इंट्रो नहीं होगा जब इसका परिचय नहीं होगा तो लोग इसको अपनाएंगे नहीं आज ये कहा जाता है कि जो आयुर्वेद के पांच विंग है छठा हमारा विंग है इसके ट्रीटमेंट से सब सबसे अधिक लाभ होता है इसके ट्रीटमेंट से लाभ होता है देश में जितने आबादी भारत की है उतने आबादी में डॉक्टर या पैरामेडिकल के हम निर्माण नहीं करा पा रहे हैं या नहीं निकल पा रहे हैं सरकार का यह प्रयास हो रहा है कि अधिक से अधिक ऐसे सूट खोले जाएं जो रेशियो है जो रेशियो है आबादी बढ़ने की उसी के रेशियो में भी डॉक्टर बनने चाहिए अभी यहां पर हम पूछा हमने कार्यक्रम चेयरमैन से कि पीजी में कितने विद्यार्थी निकले यहां से तो केवल एक साल हुआ है मेरा मानना है कि यहां से पीजी में बच्चे निकले और बच्चे यहां से शोध करके निकले तो निश्चित तौर पर पूरे विश्व में इसको हम लोग ले जा पाएंगे बहुत बहुत शुभकामना बहुत धन्यवाद Thank you, Shri Ravindra Jaiswal ji, for your kind address. And now we have the presentation of Moment Two to the Dignity Trees on the Dais. Thank you. May I now request Keshing Awal Samdilla, the president of this event, and the vice chancellor of Central Institute of High Tibetan Studies to address this gathering. Thank you. सर्वदृष्टि प्रधान आये यत् सद्धम मधिष्यत् अनुकंपाम उपादाये तम गोंद गोतमम नमामि कांगे तुझी नहीं समय तावतम जपाम इस तबे चुने तुझे जो कदम देना चाहते हैं ना ऑनरेबल संघ मेंबर्स Today's uh, guest, uh, Chief Guest Professor uh, Yamini Bhushan Tripathi ji, Shri Ravindra Jaiswal ji, Professor Kamnesh Kumar Divedi ji, Dr. Lopsan Tenzin ji, and uh, Dr. Tinde Basang ji, And uh, Dr. Ubadhyay, Dr. Pema Yurmeji, Dr. Katoji, and distinguished uh, 
scholars and practitioners of Swarikpa who have come from many different countries. The participants, our faculty members, and dear students. It is a great pleasure for me today to host this uh, third international conference of Swarikpa. Since we are celebrating the Golden Jubilee, so we, as we were approached to give accommodation for this international co conference here, then we thought that uh, it is rather better for us to host this uh, conference so that they can, this can be a part of our celebration. So we are very happy to have you all of the participants from different countries. We welcome all of you. This institute has uh, been very closely associated uh, not with uh, just uh, having the Soarikpa department, but also having the opportunity, uh, because we had this great opportunity of uh, taking initiatives in the recognition of Soarikpa in the Indian medical system by the Indian government. And when we look into the nature of Soarikpa, I myself feel very proud of this. And I feel that uh, the Tibetans, the Tibetan emperors, the Tibetan scholars, and Tibetan administrators, they really thought very well in choosing the disciplines, the way of life, more than 1,000 years back. They have chosen the Buddhist tradition of uh, Nalanda from India, instead of uh, having it from China, which relatively is much uh, convenient, more convenient to receive from China in terms of its uh, approach. But those great thinkers, the scholars and the emperors, they decided to import uh, Buddhism and Indian studies Buddhism and other Indian fields of studies from India itself. I think I used to say that that was a great decision taken, uh, kind of uh, the decision which changed the entire uh, history of Tibet and uh, which laid the foundation of uh, the future of Tibet and its culture and for humanity as a whole. It uh, embraced the Nalanda tradition of Buddhist philosophy, epistemology, logic, and uh, other subjects of humanities, medicine, arts, grammar, poetry, astrology, astronomy. So it gave uh, more emphasis in the inner development and also at the same time, it gave emphasis on the development of a body and uh, for physical health. But I quite often feel that uh, it is uh, very thoughtful that uh, lots of energies are not, not, were not spent on the material development. Had that been the case, many of our best brains would have been engaged in the material developments rather than emphasizing on the mental development and philosophical studies. Now, as you know that uh, the Tibetan Buddhism is known for its uh, richness in Buddhist philosophy, which is the only tradition which maintains the Nalanda tradition as a whole in a holistic manner manner. And at the same time, we have the Sawarikpa, which again took care of uh, interacting with the other 
systems available at that time, approachable at that time in the neighboring countries, India, Persia, and China. As a result, our, most of the earlier speakers have spoken about having the international conference at that time. It was not just one incident of having international conference, but it was an ongoing kind of you know, uh, practice at that time, inviting scholars and practitioners from the neighboring countries and to making them work and to do exercise and experiments and interactions for months together, for years together. So I think this was a very healthy kind of uh, tradition that uh, the emperor of Tibet uh, uh, developed. When we look into the system of uh, Swarigpa, then we find that uh, Swarigpa and also Ayurveda, Swarigpa has, of course, uh, about 35, uh, almost around 35 percent of uh, you know, 35% influence from Swarigpa, as many of the treatises of Ayurveda were invited or imported to Tibet in the early 7th and 8th century. So we can see that, you know, the Buddhistic approach of a Four Noble Truth to identify the dukkha, the nature, and then to go into the, you know, the causes and conditions of the dukkha, and then the cessation, and then the you know, path, which is the, how to get rid of the dukkha and achieve the cessation of the dukkha. So similar approach is applied if we look into the Swarikpa system. First, identify the nature of the disease, to what extent the disease stands, it is not just simply, uh, you know, symptomatic kind of, you know, identification, but it is a s systemic identification, which is one of the greatest kind of a difference that we find. Ayurveda also has the similar kind of approach. It is a systemic kind of uh, treatment rather than symptomatic. And if we look at the modern medical system, then, of course, the modern medical system has, uh, you know, contributed tremendously to humanity. We should not be having, I always used to say that we should not be having kind of, you know, antagonistic attitude towards uh, other systems. Rather, we should have an appreciative ap approach. Then only we can learn. Then we, only we can collaborate with others. The modern medicine and medical science has uh, done, done tremendous work. However, their approach is limited to the physical domain. It did not go into the mental domain. That is why many of the issues are you know, still unaddressed, which can be addressed by Swarigpa and Ayurveda. Because both of these systems have gone into the deeper aspect of the sources of uh, the ailment, diseases. While they identify the diseases, they go into the depth of the, and the very source of the disease. In the medical, of course, I'm not a medical, you know, so a practitioner, but I happen to be very much associated with that from two angles. One as, first as a patient and another as a facilitator. And in many cases, I had to work for this. So occasionally we have discussions with our medical practitioners and scholars, which is very helpful in many ways. So when we look deeper side, at the deepest level, then it is very much, uh, you know, same to the Buddhist philosophy, going to the, to the level of the ignorance, which is, according to Buddhism, the very source of all the, you know, afflictive mind, and then the afflictive mind then again occasions uh, afflictive, you know, the negative karmas, and then it brings the suffering. And this is the course. Because of ignorance, then we have the afflictive, uh, 
you know, mind. And because of that, uh, all different kinds of diseases emerge. And one very kind of uh, obvious uh, domain of disease that modern medicine uh, does not identify is uh, the lung, right, the vayu, which is unaddressed. If a patient of uh, vayu or lung goes to the modern practitioners, modern medical doctors, then they give us certain, you know, of course, medicines which are simply symptomatic uh, uh, treatment. But when the Ayurvedic and the Swarik doctors treat them, then they treat to maintain the balance of these energies, which then can give a, you know, perfect kind of good cure for the disease. So these are some of the areas that we certainly need to have interaction with. Uh, and also, we should not feel that uh, we are complete in ourselves. We should not be complacent. If we feel complacent, then that is the very source of uh, you know, stopping our learning and doing research further. So we should never be complacent. We should always feel that we have uh, you know, far way to go ahead. There are many ways, there are many areas where we need to learn from modern medical science. And also within Ayurveda and Swaripa, we have many areas where we can learn each other. Of course, we have uh, basic philosophical and uh, fundamental things which we share together, but we can learn a lot. When we had uh, a conference in 2008 uh, with the Swaripa practitioners and the Ayurveda practitioners, both scholars were asked to each, you know, one scholar from each um, the discipline was uh, asked to um, write on uh, seven themes. Then everybody from both sides began to appreciate the other side because they came to know that what are the, you know, unique features and unique uh, practices So one, few of the Ayurvedic uh, uh, scholars and practitioners came to me saying that uh, we would like to request you to organize workshops for pulse reading and many other things like urine test and uh, things like that, which would be certainly very helpful. And at the same time, many of the Swadikpa practitioners uh, said that we must have workshops on the purification of metals and uh, many of those things, which in India, uh, after we had, uh, uh, you know, we got the stagnation in our continuation of interaction after 12th century, then after 12th century, India has, Indian Ayurveda has developed further in many of those purification systems and things like that. So we must have interaction together and as I said, we must have interaction with the, the modern medical science from whom we can, from which we can learn a lot. And uh, we must, uh, as uh, our earlier speakers, and uh, particularly our uh, Dr. Tripathiji, Professor Tripathiji has suggested about uh, herbal medicines and things like that. We have uh, a herbal garden in a Tawang area, which we thought um, about uh, seven, eight years back, because those are the areas where the best of the herbs are grown and which are not found in, uh, you know, the plain areas. And of course, within Tibet, it is not approachable for us. So it is best to approach the Tawang and those uh, Himalayan areas where we can grow the herbs, the dis extinguishing herbs. We had uh, three reasons to have this kind of projects in those uh, remote areas. The first is, of course, to restore the extinguishing plants and herbs. And now we are doing that. Some of the plants are almost uh, extinguished, but now we are able to bring them back uh, by bringing from other places and uh, have been successful in now uh, uh, 
growing more in, in those areas. And the second is, uh, of course, uh, by growing the herbs over there, we can get uh, uh, good herbs. The third purpose is to educate the local people so that they can also maintain that kind of livelihood, which can be helpful for them and at the same time for helpful for the you know, medical institutes who produce uh, medicines. So further, we still have uh, plans to increase the number of uh, herbal gardens in Arunachal Pradesh and other places, so which I think uh, uh, would be very you know, um, helpful for, from many angles. And then we must engage in research because uh, without engaging in research, it would not be possible for us to bring this, uh, to take this medical system ahead. And we have, uh, we should be doing researches in our respective institutions. And then we must have collaborations within ourselves. In the last, uh, six, seven years, we um, started uh, a collaboration with Emory University Medical Institute, which is one of the best uh, medical institute in the United States. And uh, with the, the assistance and guidance of uh, one of the very renowned medical scientists, uh, one research was conducted on with the for some selected uh, diseases and uh, using the herbs and the drugs according to Swarikpa and uh, those have been found to be very productive and successful. The results will be coming in the years to come, the uh, in the near future to come. And then uh, um, there are many areas that we should address, like for example, the toxins, you know, the new development uh, in terms of society, in terms of environment. Uh, earlier, we, you know, uh, detoxification is not that uh, kind of, uh, you know, popularly practiced. But now these days, uh, it has to be. It has become a kind of mandatory uh, treatment. Even some of the scientists uh, now, it doesn't matter where you live. Either you live in Mumbai or New York, or you live in Alaska. Some researches have been taking place uh, in Alaska, thinking that that has the very, you know, very pure and very remote area, so they might not have uh, metallic kind of uh, toxins. But they found that uh, they have a huge, you know, metal toxins because of the fish and the water that are, you know, transmitted uh, over there from the plain area, the, or from the ocean to the Alaska and also due to the circulation of the environment and the cloud and things like that. Through the test of blood, it was found that uh, many of the Alaskan people have a very heavy metallic kind of toxins in their body. So we cannot be saved. So therefore, we need to think about developing certain kind of measures so that we can give treatment to, 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 to people, right? to the ailing people. So there are so many, you know, uh, I won't go into the details, but uh, there are so many ways uh, through which we can uh, serve the humanity. And uh, there are many areas in which uh, we must explore. And this uh, international conference is, uh, uh, must serve uh, to, to explore and to initiate, of course, we must not be working on in laboratories and things like that within four days' time. But uh, we must explore and then, uh, and then come up with some ideas after which we can, um, we can you know, start some projects and investigations and researches in our respective uh, uh, institutions. So this way we can uh, do service to the Swarikpa and uh, through that we can do uh, you know, service to humanity. So I once again welcome all of you uh, to this uh, international conference and uh, to our university's campus. Thank you very much. Thank you, Geshe-la, for your 
very enriching and encouraging address. And now I request uh, Dr. Um, Dr. Mrs. Sring Samjula, Secretary of Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, to deliver the word of thanks. Hello, uh, good afternoon. So before I say a word of thanks, I request Professor Lopsang Tenzin, Chairman of Central Council of Tibetan Medicine, to present a greeting scarf to Dr. Padma Gudmi, who is currently the member of Sova Rigpa, Central Council of Indian Medicine. I, on behalf of executive members of CCTM, would like to congratulate him and convey our best wishes. Uh, uh, now, I, uh, on behalf of the organizing team of this third international conference on Tibetan medicine, I would like to thank all the participants, guests, speakers, paper presenter, dean, faculty, dean and faculty members and students of this institute for coming to this in, uh, inaugural session of this ICTM. And uh, our special thanks to our guest, Professor Kamlesh Kumar Divediji, Professor Ravinder Jaiswalji, and Chief Guest, Professor Yamini Bhushan, uh, Bhushan Tripathiji, for coming and giving us an inaugural speech to this event. Finally, I thank the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Geshe Ngawang Samtenla, and Dr. R.K. Obadia for hosting this conference here in this institute as a part of uh, Golden Jubilee, uh, uh, this one, Golden Jubilee events. I thank you all for coming and making this event uh, successful. Thank you.